Hi, everyone, and welcome to Studio Jake. I, of course, am your host, Jacob Airy. Thank you for joining me on my birthday. Today is my birthday, and I, you know, wanted to just give a shout out to all my vidcast subscribers and watchers. Thank you for joining me on my on my program here where I talk about all things pop culture from anime to film to novels to gaming sometimes and a whole lot more. I would really appreciate it if you would like this video if you would leave me a comment, share this video out to your friends, and of course subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. And if I make it, I'm going to do a little Ask Me Anything live stream. So please consider signing up. So, you know, it's today is my birthday and I just wanted to give you some reflections about this past year. And I wanted to say, you know, there, there was a lot of turbulence that happened. I have to be careful what I say because the YouTube censors will censor me, but there's a lot of turbulence over the past few years. Inflation is out of control, fires in Hawaii, fires in Canada, um, flooding in parts of uh, California and in Las Vegas. Uh, it's uh, record heat in the, uh, the South and the Midwest. It's, uh, you know, it's a struggle. And where everyone's filling it in their wallets and just in their day-to-day -day lives. But I just wanted to say, you know, one thing that I probably don't say enough. I am proud to be an American. And I love America. I think America is the greatest country in the whole wide world. Do we make mistakes? Absolutely. Sure, we have. No question about it. But what's great about being American, whether you're red, yellow, black, white, Jew, Gentile, whatever your persuasion is, you can overcome. And this is something that I feel like America has lost, particularly during the pandemic and the lockdowns, is the sense of community because we were inside for two years under house arrest illegally by the government. Um, that we sort of, and it was starting since, let's be real, since the Obama administration and uh, other administrations haven't done anything to bring us back together. But um, we have lost our sense of social cohesion, and I think being on house arrest and being forced to wear face diapers and uh, being six feet apart from each other, I think that kind of um, sort of ex extended our lack of social uh, cohesion, our sense of community. And I think this also stems from the education. They don't teach civics anymore. They don't teach good manners, how to keep a checkbook. You know, if your neighbor's house is burning, you know, go and make sure they're okay. You know, everyone just stares and films on their iPhones. And that's just something I, I just briefly wanted to say. I, I want America because I do believe America is the greatest country in the whole world. I believe in our principles, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I believe in American ex exceptionalism. I believe in, in that. And listen, if you're from another country and you're watching this video, I am totally okay with you thinking your country is the greatest in the world. There's nothing wrong with showing a little bit of favoritism towards your own nation. Do it. I encourage it. And with that said, build your community. This is one thing that, you know, I'm a big consumer of Japanese media. I don't make this, this is not a secret. You can, as you can see next to me, the plushie next to me, um, the one of the things I admire about Japanese culture is their sense of social cohesion. For instance, when the tidal waves hit Japan, and then they also had that very tragic uh, nuclear reactor um, meltdown. The it a lot of what was done was done by volunteers who came together to help their neighbors to uh, help them survive and get through it. And America needs to rediscover this. We see this in small towns sometimes, right? Where uh, you know, a farmer's barn will burn down because of a wayward lightning strike, and the community comes together and helps him build a new barn. You know, we can um, we can see a neighbor's car breaks breaks down, so a neighbor will give him a jump. You know, it can be simple stuff like that, or more complicated stuff like the barn example. Whatever the case may be, I hope that we will rediscover our you know our heritage of being a community. And coming together as an American community. No hyphens. No, um, I'm I'm part of this subgroup. Or I'm part of this subculture. Those things are, are great. They're good connection to your identity. But I just want America and Americans to come together as one community so that we can help one another. That is something that I sense we have lost. And I hope that, you know, 
we can do this again, that we can come back and be neighborly to, um, to each other and to show each other a good, strong sense of community. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up, that you'll leave me a comment, tell me what you think, that you'll share it out with your friends, and of course, consider subscribing to Studio Jake. I cover all kinds of nerd and pop culture topics, including film, television, anime, comic books, and so much more. I hope that you'll also head over to my main website, studiojakemedia.com, where I have even more news, views, and commentary. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, head over to my Locals page. That's studiojakemedia.locals.com. It's the best way to support me. I'm trying to build a little community there. I have exclusive reviews and articles, so definitely head over there and check it out. And I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.